Wow, you know, it always feels very weird starting recording a daily vlog at 5 p.m. Mm, but as you may or may not know, I am actually working today starting from 11 p.m., which is a bit of a mindfuck. So although my day is starting at five o'clock in the evening, I don't actually have to go to work for another five hours. And even then I'll be there early. So yeah, it's a bit of an odd one. So as you can tell by my really disheveled look, what cats, I've given you food. You've had so much food today. All the time meowing. But uh, the big deal for today, the reason that I'm so like, gross looking and stuff is because I'm kind of refusing to shower just yet. I've been, <laughs> I've been vegetating in the office for most of the day. Actually, I got up at like 10 this morning. I was awake till like two or three, so I haven't had a lot of sleep. So I could do it having a quick nap if I can get one in at some point soon. God, I got freaked out a bit then. The clock says 6 p.m., but the hours have changed. The clock has gone backwards an hour this morning slash last night. So at 2 a.m. this morning, it changed back to 1 a.m because that's what it does in daylight savings time. I don't I don't know why, don't get me started, it's whatever. But that's not the big deal. The reason I've been so recluse is because it's bloody freezing in this house because the heater has stopped working. The boiler is not, is not heating up the house anymore. It's brock, it's completely buggered. It was fine yesterday. In fact, I woke up from my nap yesterday, really hot because the heating is from my nuts, not automatic time. And, and now, no, nothing. So I woke up bloody cold and the heater, is, the boiler, sorry, is just doing nothing at all. If you're curious, it sounds like this. So it's turning on. Now it's bubbling. Still bubbling, shouldn't be bubbling, but okay. Still bubbling. And then it shakes. <laughs> That's actually a pretty minor shake. That little tremor you heard then, that was a very mild one. Sometimes it goes ridiculous and the whole house shakes like thunder. It's... It's not good. Yeah, really not good. And it'll do that in a loop um, for about 10 minutes, then it ultimately will give up because it's not working. Um, so I will just turn that off now because I don't want to... Sorry. I don't want to cause any damage to it further. Uh, but it does not come on. I've tried it so many times today. It just isn't working. I have, I think, booked an engineer to come out. I've called up British Gas and I'm hoping they'll send a guy out tomorrow afternoon. Which should be fine because I'll finish work at about 8 o'clock in the morning. Then I'll head back here, have a quick sleep, wake up, and then a guy will come to make me warm again, hopefully. Um, I'm not quite sure what it'll cost me like that because it's, it's like a home care plan, but it's on my mum's name, not mine, so I don't really know how it works. I'm also not completely sure we still pay for that either, so I might end up getting a hefty little charge, but we shall see what happens. I don't know. All I know is that I'm really cold. It's like, honestly, like, let me show you how cold it is, okay? So you know how central heating works? It's on a thermostat. You set the temperature where you want it to be, and when it reaches that, it turns off, right? Now with a the thermostat, when you, when you turn it down, you can hear a click when it reaches what temperature it currently is. So basically, if you put it onto maximum, it heats up, 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 until the house is a nice temperature. You could turn it down until it clicks to turn it off. So you say, I like this temperature, this temperature is a nice temperature. Turn it down, turn it down, turn it down, click. That's what temperature it is. Now it'll stay that way. This is my thermostat, this really old mangy looking thing. If I zoom in on it a bit, there you go. Look how gross that looks. So you can see right now, I've got it set to like 22, 23 degrees. That's a nice temperature, a nice warm winter temperature. If I turn it down until it clicks, There. Hear it? Listen. That click, it's happening there. That means the temperature right now, wherever that thermometer is located, is 14 to 13 degrees indoors. That's not okay. That's just not okay. So I'm layered up. I've got not only got joggers on, but I've got a pair of leggings on underneath here, like women's leggings. I mean, it's 318, you can't see that these days, but still. I've got my joggers on, I've got my t-shirt on, I've got my hoodie on. I'm just bundled up upstairs with like all the monitors on. So the more screens I've got turned on, the better. PS4's on, the computer's on, just trying to use electricity to generate heat. I mean, I'm not doing that any more than I would normally. I've been using them as I would classically, so I'm not turning off the sake of it, but I'm definitely staying in the warmest room of the house, which is the office, which has all this tech and a nice mug of coffee to keep me warm, so yeah. So that's been my day, at least. I've been sitting here playing Minecraft, which I'm doing quite well, actually. I finally found the end uh, portal on Minecraft. I'm playing it on Switch, by the way, but I'm playing it on Realm, so I can pick it up on whatever device, so... I'm enjoying that, it's very cool. And I've watched a lot of live streams, some old Halloween videos from other people. I've just just been sitting here, basically trying to stay warm and just 
stay occupied. I wish I could be asleep right now, but I'm, I'm not that tired at the moment, so that might be an issue later. I'm also not very hungry. Like, I was really hungry yesterday afternoon, then I ate something, like a small thing, and I was full immediately. Then, as I was going to bed, like, I wasn't hungry, I didn't have dinner, I didn't have a full meal. Like I said in, the, in yesterday's vlog, I didn't actually have any dinner. But I went to bed, and, and like I was lying there awake watching YouTube videos, or I think I was watching anime, actually. And when I, as I was lying in bed, I started to get really hungry, but I thought, I'm in bed now, stuff this, so I, I stayed in bed. And I woke up really hungry, then fell asleep again till like 10. And I woke up again, even hungrier. And then I made some food and I, I could eat like half of it till I was, till I was full again. It was so weird. And all I've had today is, I mean, I've had some chips and chicken. I've got some chicken pieces and breadcrumbs in the fridge. I threw a few frozen chips on it and I cooked what I'd normally have as a meal. Not a healthy meal, but a meal. Honestly, halfway through it, I couldn't eat anymore. And that's all I've had all day. It's it's the weirdest thing. I'm getting a bit peckish now, but I, sh I should be ravenous because I've had hardly anything. Honestly, I think my body clock is just too buggered. It's just all over the place at the moment. So I need to um, get back on the Huel, I think, because Huel I can stomach, Huel I can sit over time. Huel, I think, will be my answer for this. So I've got to make sure I've got plenty of bottles tonight to get me through the night shift because I'm not having a McDonald's. I'm not having another shit meal. I'll just have something that's at least a bit healthier. Oh, I'm enjoying being in the kitchen now. You can see all the steam on the windows. I'm boiling some pasta over here, which is lovely and warm. I'll defrost my fingers. Look how pale my fingers are. Just defrost them, please. I've got a hot steamy mug of coffee here, which I don't want to add milk to either because it's nice and warm too. Which incidentally is why I haven't showered yet still because I'm really putting that off as long as I can because I'm, I'm going to have to make sure I've got everything prepared. I'm going to get all my things in all together, all my ducks in a line so I can get out of the shower, be dried, dressed, and wrapped up again as fast as possible because the last thing I want to do right now is get out of a, a nice warm hot shower being wet and getting getting colder because that's going to that's gonna really suck. I really don't want to do that. Luckily, it's only five to seven in the evening, so I've still got three more hours so I need to even leave for work yet, so... God, that's weird, isn't it? That's weird. 7 p.m. I don't have to start work for another four hours, three hours. Like, oh, fine. Either way, it is what it is. I am even microwaving a cookie because I don't want to eat that cold either. I mean, to be fair, it should be pretty nice warm, but I just want everything to be warm today. Okay, it's finally time. It's a little bit past 10 p.m. and I am heading off to work. And that sentence just keeps getting weirder the more I say it. Oh, the poor cat is cold. Don't you snuggle? Hey, why didn't you go upstairs? It's a bit warmer up there. It's nice. Soft bed you can sleep on too. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. You know, I'm wearing gloves, it's so bloody, bloody cold in here, Christ. Anyway, Joe's on her way back very shortly, so the cats will be, will be snuggling up in bed with her very shortly, I'm sure, because it is bloody cold in here. Uh, but I think I'm ready to go. I think I need to just get my, uh, my huel out of the fridge. So I made a couple of bottles of that, because this is going to be my dinner tonight. I'm not doing anything trashy again. I'm just not, I can't handle more junk. I just can't do it. But I am a little bit worried about going outside because. The screen over here, right? This says the temperature outside right now feels like minus one. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good at all. I really don't want to be in minus one. Like, I, I really don't want at all. <laughs> I mean, it must be about must be about 10, maybe 12 in here at the moment. But if it's three outside, what does it even mean? It's, it's, it's three degrees outside, but it feels like minus one. How does that work? Plus, from what I've learned, uh, whatever temperature it says, it actually isn't there. Like, it says it's three degrees on there. It's probably actually one outside, like classically, wherever the thermometer is that does the reading of that thing, wherever that's placed in the world, which I'm not sure where that is. Classically, my house will be two degrees less than that, whatever it is. If it says 35 degrees, like hot, we'll be about 33. Classically, that's what I've noticed, but I guess we'll find out very shortly. I'm even going all out with the prep with a gilet. I've not worn a gilet it's for ages. The only reason I own it is because I found it really cheap. It was like four pound fifty or something stupid. So that's literally, that's literally the only reason I own it, but I feel like if it's everything to wear it, it's time I'm sitting in the car at minus one. It's going to be now, isn't it? Particularly when I haven't even got body warm from in here. Normally if I've got the heat in here, heat in, I can't even speak, can I mean? Normally if I've got the heat from in the house, yeah, I said it. It's not normally too bad, but I don't have that. I'm already cold, so I'm taking no chances. Ah, see, I called it. It's one degree, literally a single. Come on, focus. God damn it. A bit better. Yeah, one degree in here right now. It's bloody cold. I'm pretty sure you can see my breath right now. Yeah, definitely. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, bloody hell. It actually reached minus one on that journey to work here. Like, minus one. N no, no, no. But I've got about 10 minutes until the other guys arrive and there's no one in the store right now because it's a Sunday night at half past 11, well, quarter to 11 at night. So I'll give it a few more minutes before I wander over there in the cold and have to bail on my, my, my gilet, my, my gillet, my gilet. Because as much as it's actually really nice in here, I'm very glad I'm wearing it right now, but I'm, I'm not going to wear it outside. I have I have too much pride for that, and, <laughs> and that's coming from me. I have I have very little shame, but I'm not going to wear the gilet outside. 
it's just not me. It's not my thing, you know. I, if you like it, go for it. And some people make it look good. I've seen people wear them, but they look decent. It's not for me. It's like hats. I'd love to wear hats, beanies, baseball caps, the lot. I can't. They just don't look good on me. They just do not look good. But anyway, this is blinding me, and it's, like I said, nearly 11 o'clock at night, so I'm going to end the video off here for now, and then first thing in the morning, I'll pick it back up for tomorrow's video. So, hope you've enjoyed it, and if you have, I like rating is very appreciated, but otherwise, I am back tomorrow, 7pm UK time, for the next daily vlog. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all later.